What I'm looking forward to for the rest of my time here on Earth is, of course, seeing my son again, but what I'm referring to is setting this entire commonwealth up right. Already we have Minuteman patrols between our settlements, and the general safety around these areas is probably about the best there is outside of Diamond City. It makes me feel proud of the work we are doing, which is helping the people grow safe and healthy communities again. To me, that means a heck of a lot more than just safeguarding technology so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands, which is the mission of the Brotherhood of Steel. Any technology can fall into the wrong hands, including within the Brotherhood of Steel. Who's going to stop them? What we need is to learn the lesson of the past that destroyed the world. Stop giving so much power to a few corrupt, untouchable individuals who run the world any way they see fit. We are, or were, supposed to be a democratic republic that is run by the people and for the people. Instead, what we had was a military dictatorship in the end. Ironic how we liberated Europe in World War II and kept the communists at bay only to become just as bad as they all were. I don't believe that we will always be destined to corrupt our democratic ways only to descend into a dictatorship which will ultimately destroy us. You could say that that's what's happened to the old world, but what led to the corruption to begin with? Decadence? Apathy? Fear? All of that, I believe. It also doesn't help that we seem to become a nation of cowards, too afraid to stand up to our own government and corporations. Oh, we can go over the top in the trenches and get shot to death, but standing up to a government that is no longer abiding by the Constitution? Perhaps it was a death by a thousand cuts to become the very enemy we fought against, because it was well in place before I was even born. Maybe to be the world's police and enforcement against so much bad, we had to become just as bad ourselves? When all power is consolidated and people look the other way when faced with corruption, this is what happens. Your freedoms are taken away. This is why I think a local governance of the regions is the best idea. Hey, sort of like how the Founding Fathers envisioned America. When you lose sight of the vision of freedom and how to create and maintain it, and are too afraid to stand up to those destroying it all that once was, then I suppose you get what you deserve. That's why it's important to stand up for what's right, even if it means your own life is taken from you. As Thomas Jefferson wrote, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Whew. Well, I uh, worked on my armor and my weapons. I uh, really beefed up this laser rifle I have. It's still a sniper rifle. I went through the options. And, uh, and now it holds twice the amount of microfusion cells, so I'm happy with it. And it's more powerful. I was able to make it more powerful. So I was looking at my two-shot LK. I have already modified it to be as powerful as possible. Unfortunately, it's at the limit. Mm. This is my favorite gun. It doesn't, per bullet, do as much damage as my other weapons. However, it shoots so fast. Uh, and amazingly, I was able to even make this shotgun even more powerful. And it reloads faster, too. So, yeah, my ghoul popper is insanely powerful. Not as powerful as I can see it possibly being made, but it's almost there. Probably three quarters of the way. And uh, I didn't take a look at my plasma gun. That's the only thing I didn't do. And I was able to slightly improve my sniper rifle. Not, not by leaps and bounds. Uh, I also reinforced my Minuteman clothing, so it's actually quite powerful. Uh, sorry, powerful. Defends well against ballistic and energy attacks. Gave Hancock a Kalash. I upgraded it to be pretty decent. Hey. What's the word? Not a clue. Let's see. So, let's uh, put see the bobblehead here. Intelligence bobblehead. I think I have a magazine. One magazine. There we go. The comic book. Yeah, I'm going to have to read that. I was also going to read View from the Vault. So, my 
plans are before we go after the Mechanist. Obviously, Strong is going to help with this. We're going to go over to the Abernathy farm and put up some defenses so they're more well defended. Some automated turrets around. And uh, we'll see about what we can do with the Vault 11, 111 Refu- No, no. What am I thinking? Sorry, the Sunshine... Why do I... My Pip-Boy saying two people live there. Are you serious? Do people show up there? Okay. I was wondering if... That Professor Feels Good is one of those people. But I was going to work on that and try to make a community out of that. Now that we have a growing community here in Sanctuary. And the other one that we have is down here, Oberlin Station. They seem to be okay. They could probably, I, I want to put some turrets down there. They definitely need more defense. And that's it for. I mean, I could make something out of the Red Rocket truck stop, but uh, I just don't want to. Uh, this They can make a good farm down here in the um, Sunshine Tidings Co-op. It used to be a farm. Covenant. I'm sure there's other places. I did, when I went down here, there was a settlement, Nordhagen Beach, and they did ask me to help them with a ghoul problem. I think it was at the National Guard Training Yard, and I kind of left it at that. Mass Fusion Containment Shed. So that's my plans. Strong, you're going to have to stay here. And we're going to go over and put some turrets up. I could use more adhesives. So if I can buy things from Carla, that would help. However, we seem to have our own Brahmin here. Now. Uh, this is food. I need to find like a trough for the Brahmin. I'm going to use this. Why do you say that once in a while? Maybe just like right here? I can always move it another time. It's for the Brahmin to come down. Okay, so we have 18 people here. We have 27 beds. People are pretty content. A lot of food, more than enough food and water. A lot of power, a lot of defense. And I'm sure some more people are gonna end up here. I don't know. I don't know how many how much this community can hold, but Perhaps, I guess we'll find out, because I mean, I could say 100 or 200, but I don't know if we'd have enough food for that, that many. Uh, what's this fireworks more to control? Uh, don't need that. Spotlight control, access, VIP, tracker, vocational overview, find jobs for the unemployed. We probably have a few people that we could give jobs to. There's no jobs available, really. Vocational overview. We got four unemployed, nine farmers, one scavenger. We could probably use another scavenger. And three guards. Talk. I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Saint. Okay. It's actually a nice day. Cold, but future. nice. Roger that. Something you need from me, sir? Not really, no. Hey, strong. Take meat. Make humans strong. <sighs> you can go now. Strong, go back to tower. No, stay here. Back to smashing things. I get the good news. Oh, you're staying here. But it beats the alternatives. Okay, strong. I have a job for you. All right. So I think, considering that I am the leader of well, the Minutemen and the settlements, as part of the Minutemen. Being able to establish supply lines between my workshop and set other settlements is a good idea. And first person that I have in mind for that is Mr. Strong. Very own strong. I need your big strong arms. So go to Sunshine Tidings Co-op. So he'll go to there. And we're going to go and... Actually, I have the wrong place. Because we want guns. And I have to try to buy adhesives. I'm sh I know it will require adhesives. Go to Abernathy Farm. For now. And then I'm going to have to come and find him again. And we'll go to Sunshine Tidings Co-op. But for now, this is what I plan to do. Plus, I'm going to get my power armor. 
Just so I have it with me, I believe I should be wearing this power armor when we go south to deal with the mechanist. It's been a while. Alright, let's go to the Abernathy farm. Much slower now. Alright, I have four of the nice heavy machine gun turrets set up for them. One on this side. One over here to cover this area. There's two down there. This is where traders come in down there. It's the fire pit. Uh, that was already existing. So, we Minutemen protect our own. And this is one of the first settlements. If not the very first. So what they're lacking here is water, as you can see, and power, but they seem to be fine without power. There's no point in giving them power if they don't need it. So let's build some water for them. They don't need much. A little bit of concrete. We have plenty of it. Just these basic supplies of water. And... Um, Oh, there's one over there already. Let's just put this here. They have chicken eggs there. I wouldn't mind picking up some of them. Excellent. Make some nice... Ooh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make them all. I can make some nice omelets. I've already eaten this morning, but... Hey, kitty. Do your thing. I'll keep an eye out. Fried... Chicken egg and cram. Hell yeah. I've got a lot of eggs. Yes. Ooh, I can make something else. A lot of eggs. Fry them up. What's this? Mole rat chunk. You know what? I'm going to have some chicken eggs and cram. Sadly, that is my favorite meal. <laughs> it is my favorite thing to eat. I haven't had it in like a month. Wish I had that for my birthday. Would have been nice. Especially now that I'm 30 years old. Chicken eggs and cram. Fried chicken egg and cram. And Nuka Cola. Come to Papa. Ah, that is. If I had that, well, I'd get tired of it. But if I had it every day, I'd be happy. At least for a while. Compared to everything else that's available, yeah, that's number one. Oh, is this mean Carlos coming here? <laughs> or is this part of uh, Strong's little... I gotta go find Strong now. Now that the defenses have been set up for this place... Yeah, I gotta find Strong. We're going to move on to Sunshine Tidings Co-op. There's not much there. I don't even think they have water, do they? They probably have water issues. But with the materials that we can get from Sanctuary going to Sunshine Tidings Co-op, yeah, we'll be able to make that into a nice place. Let's go find Strong and change his orders. Absolutely. Okay, I have improved my... Plasma. It's actually a shotgun, considered a shotgun. Yeah, approved the damage. That's about all I can do. I don't really want the scope on there, actually. I, now that that's on there, I'm going to have to remove that. I didn't even... This is how I found it. So, it is a shotgun. Let's get rid of the scope. Holocyte. Uh, I don't have much many hit, adhesives. Reflex sight would be good. What are you thinking about? The whole I mean, it's a shotgun plasma. Crazy. There. Better. The hell do you need a scope on a shock? Plasma shotgun. That's how it came. Anyways, I improved the capacitor. It's more powerful. So, before we move on, let's talk to Preston. <clears throat> Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Tell me, Darby. What's All right. keep the Minutemen from falling apart this time? Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of them. Hey, we're all going. So I have my party together. Uh, 
something's I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. Let's uh, remove the tracker, otherwise my pit boy is going to keep on showing him. I have to find. Uh, we have to go down to that Sunshine Tidings Co-op. We got to find Strong to do this. He's actually nearby. He's just off the road, so he should be coming in here. I'll get him to go to Sunshine's Tidings Co-op, and then we can work on that place. I've already sent people down there. Nice. Let's see. I've sent people to Abernathy Farm. I'm not sure if they're going to go there, but uh, Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I have to find Strong, and we have to work on Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I thought I sent the same person to uh, Abernathy Farm, but they didn't end up going. So I built another guardhouse over there as well. There's four people protecting this place, plus there's about a dozen automated turrets. We find strong. And then we're good. I'm very positive about this uh, building up the settlements and the Minutemen thing now. You want to talk? Is everything alright? Yeah, yeah, it ain't anything bad. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. Was there no one who could have helped? Who knows? Maybe. Honestly, we were all so terrified we couldn't bring ourselves to move until it was over. Let alone get help. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. The fact that you're standing here and Vic isn't would suggest things went well? Oh, yeah. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. And burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. Hmm? We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house. Wrapped a rope around his neck and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. <laughs> Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch. Ever again. And you're never gonna have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. Wanna get moving? Oh yeah, we have a lot of work to do. So I was wrong, these are revolutionary clothes. Just Your thoughts? Hey. Hey. Huh. 
Uh, also, the fact that uh, he had to use brutal methods. Well, after everything I've seen, it's a brutal world. You have to use brutal methods. You can't just negotiate with people who have all, all they've ever known is, you know, life. Life with a gun in the hand and shooting their way. That's what I said. It's before. the rule of the, the gun. That's the world. Let's just focus on the task at hand. Alright, so let's get down to Sunshine Tidings Co-op and do some work. Well, Sunshine Tidings Co-op is going to require a lot of work. People here aren't too happy. They have no defenses, no water, no food. We've got to start putting down stuff for them. There's enough beds for them. This is going to take a while, so I have to go through and scrap everything that's usable within the whole place. But let's get uh, let's get the people some food and water first, otherwise they may leave. I've spent a few days here working on this settlement. There's a shotgun turret here. There's two machine gun turrets up here. There is a guard post here. My pit boy is saying there's three people living, or four people living here, but I've only come across three. So two are farming. One is at the guard post. I can send more people. Oh, this, this is a new person. Hello. You can farm. Sure. So this must be the fourth person. All right, so uh, the only thing I could do is add in a few beds. It's the only thing that they're short on. So there's walls all around the settlement that took a lot of materials. The only thing that it would have used up was the rubber uh, from Sanctuary. It's not like I had any use for it anyways. Some of these places just, they don't have a bed. This one has one bed. Put another bed right here. So maybe we'll try to get a dozen beds. So four more beds. Like I said, some of these, this one has one bed. Oh, it doesn't look like I was in here. I didn't scrap this, these things. I need a broken chair. Um, I don't need an extra table. Broken back chair. I don't want to sit in that. Dressers. I've seen better dressers. So there's two beds in here. I'm not sure how many buildings there are, but two per building is probably good enough. There's one that doesn't have any beds. It's probably, oh, there's one bed on the floor here. Not exactly a uh, nice place to sleep. So we just scrap that. Put a bed there. Put a bed there. So what are we at? Nine beds. Three more beds. As I said, there's one that didn't have any beds. Is it this one? This one does not... The back end is all broken up, so we won't be using that building. I'm not going to be staying here. This is just for settlers to... So I'm making places for other people now. There's room for a bed here. Alright, I've got to find that one with no beds. I can put two in there and then that will be it. Here it is. Put more than two, I can put. Okay, 13 beds. Good enough. chair for that. There's a, lo a lot of chairs that I can make. Let's make one that kind of matches all the other places here. Chair there. There. I think this place is done. Um, in general, people are more happy. I gotta pick this up. This is mine. Oops. Pick it up. And cook here. You can barbecue here. There's a chem station there. There's enough food here for a lot, a lot of people. Brought it back from um, uh, the, what's the name of that farm? 
nearby. Abernathy. I was going to say Avil Nathy for some reason. These guns could use an adjustment in their placing. You know what? Actually, uh, no. I don't want them to be in the exact same place. There. That's good. They can shoot out. Shotgun here. So these people should be good. Now, let's go after the mechanist. I'm curious to know what's down there. Maybe Ada will start saying different things. Let's get going. Anything bad that happens to this community, I will be notified by my to my pit boy with their radio. And I can come back. The only other place I can go is over the station, put up a couple guns there. I would like to do that. Alright, so here it is. Down there, General Atomic's building. That's uh, quite the travel. Where should we go? Maybe keep following the rail line and then take the rail line east. And that takes us pretty close to it. And then just keep going east. There should be a lot of uh, buildings in this area. This is the core of the, the city, obviously. But there should be also be a lot of buildings here that we're going to have to navigate through. Alright, so let's hit, take this overpass to the rail line and then go south. We'll be there in no time, I'm sure of it. Made it to a bridge. And we are to go left, which would be going east. And that should take us roughly straight towards where we want to go. Nothing but junk. I'm kind of used to looking in here and seeing raiders. Or even ghouls. Massachusetts Turnpike. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. So I gave Sorry, my laser Anna. laser rifle to Preston Garvey. It'll make better use of it, because I'm I'm not really using it. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad. Helping free cents and all that. Really? They don't sound too bad. Railroad for help so people are talking about it. I haven't heard that before that recording. It's just not something people really bring up. More mute fruit. I call it mutt fruit. People spell it like it's supposed to be not mutt fruit. Folks for Excellent. Oof. There might be something here worth taking. Might. Foodstuffs. 45. I'm not taking radiated dirty water. All right, so the split off is here. This isn't going into an area. Some dead Brahmin. A Yao Gale might have eaten it. This is an area I haven't really been to. There's a freight depot. Apparently, my pit boy says I was. I've been there. I don't remember that. Well, I haven't eaten in a while. I am getting a little hungry could use the buzz of something right now. Buzz of some caffeine. Nuka cherry. Oh, I just love this stuff. I love that it's kept as carbonation, which just doesn't even make any sense, but I mean, yes, it has. Um, I'll eat a wild fruit. Yum yum deviled eggs. I've got these Yao Gao uh, ribs. Huh. Yeah. Eat that. Very, very filling. It's like eating it's eating bear, essentially. Now that looks good on you. Thank you. We're going east. South just south of Boston. That's Diamond City right there. This is not too far away. No, get near the city, you can hear all the gunshots. 
Oh, I'm sure I haven't been in there before. Ooh, something big just blew. What is this place? It looks like it could be some good salvage. Boston Police Rationing Site? Oh, it's not even... I thought this is the Freight Depot. Okay. Freight Depot's still coming up. Well, I'm curious to know what's here. Huh. Some kind of rifle. Modified rifle. Well, that's a shotgun. What am I talking about? But what the hell is that? I guess that's a makeshift silencer. A rifle with a scope on... Or, sorry, a shotgun with a scope on it. Okay. I mean, I may be able to Hell yeah. sell this for some... It's a really weird looking weapon. I'll take it. Fairly heavy, though. There's a terminal. It's this... Stimpak right away. I do need more Stimpaks. I can't believe that I'm actually short. Hairbrush, technical, document. I do. Serve and protect. User Detective Francis Perry signed in. <laughs> okay, is there a tape to play? That son of a bitch Sergeant Riser caught me trying to have a look in the warehouse. And that asshole actually drew his weapon on me. Look, Perry. I know you two came up together and all, but I'm telling you that guy is dirty and I need you to have my back on this. Those ration crates didn't just go missing on their own. And it's our job to make sure they're getting to the people who need them. Just... lean on him a bit, okay? See if he'll let you in the warehouse to have a look around. McDonald out. Hmm. Okay. It's just about shortages. Attention officers, it has been brought to my attention that there have been complaints again about shortages and missing items. Most likely this is just some civvies trying to weasel a bit more out of the system, but make sure to keep an eye on the lines. If I see another news story about pickpockets stealing medical supplies from old ladies right under our noses again, I will personally make sure you are stuck doing paperwork on terminals from the last century for the rest of the year. Sergeant S. Randall, Boston Police Department, 3rd Precinct. Shift Scheduling. Shifts are to be scheduled by Detective Perry from Boston Police Department in conjunction with Sergeant Reese from the Army Reserves. There will be at least two officers present during distribution hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Army personnel are responsible for loading and unloading goods from the train. Police personnel for checking, receiving ledgers, and distributing rations to civilians. I know that they were doing a lot of this in the last year or two. There's fragmentation grenades in here. Four of them. Oh, it's getting low. Alright, so what do I have? Yeah, I have seven. Seven of them now. Let's start lobbing these super mutants again. Deflated kickball? I could take the rubber from it. left in that kind of condition. Some kind of warehouse. Maybe this is where the stores were. Restricted area, keep out. Huh. There's stairs going down. There's a door. Well, now I'm very curious what's in there. Who, who are these people? They have a mini nuke? Who the hell are you? I don't recognize them. They're not interested in us. Alright. To them, we're probably just scrappers. Scavengers, just like other people I've come across. Uh, I can't get back over. Gotta get up. Gotta go around this wall. Probably raiders. I think there's raiders here. I got some. Alright, we need to get up. As I said, I don't need to be trying to kill every single raider to come across. Come on, guys. Yes. Okay. 
get on it. Hey, just let him go. Let it go. Let's just keep on going. Oh, yeah. okay, this is where we came out from digging with Bobby Nonos. Surprised I didn't recognize it. Come on, let's keep on going. There's a bed up here. There's a bed, there may be a stash or something. Cigarette stash. Oh, you guys. It's getting late. We need to get going. We're not going to get to this place, so... It's, I don't know the right where we're going. It might be midnight. We have to keep pushing east. They'll catch up. I'm signaling Ada to tell them to come. My pit boy. That's a fair sized playground. Too bad there'd be no more kids playing down there. Oh, you never know. Things could work out. We reclaim the whole area. Emergency frequency. I think there was a giant bug down there. Uh, I'm curious about this emergency frequency, though. It's just static. Wait. Military. A lot of bugs down there. If you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint Parade. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. Interesting. So, before the bomb drops, the this bombs. Safe house is for military personnel only. Oh. Citizens, including non military family members, will be turned away for matters of national safety. It's barely coming in. So, this is for military personnel only. Wow, that is a lot of bugs. And uh, we've been spotted. It's hard to shoot these things from a distance. Yes. Because they move. This ain't alone. Now we need a bit of rain to get the bug guts off my armor. My power armor. Uh, I saw uh, more than just this, though. There was... Like, those giant mosquito things. Oh, this is radiation. Really bad. Okay. I dress like raiders. Shotgun shells. 38. Maybe they, uh... <laughs> Tried to make a go of it in this house, and maybe they're a ghoul. No, they would have. No, I don't know. They're ghouls, yes, but I'm just trying to explain. Blast radius, buff out. You sure that's worth taking with us? Go watch how they became, how they After died all here. These years. I'm definitely not sleeping here. Holy crap! Look what happened to them. Turpentine. Oh, that Abraxo cleaner. I do need it a lot. Potted meat. That again. So if any Abraxo cleaner I come across, because you can make... It has antiseptics in it, so you can make anything. Let's keep going. This is a nasty place. I can make a lot of uh, chems out of that. This is showing there's a military base southeast of here. There's a scrapyard south of here. Can you see that, sir? No. That's what I saw when I was up top. One of those purple bugs again. I thought I saw two of them, actually, but whatever. Still picking up radiation. I think it'd be over by now. What the hell? Why is there so much radiation down there? Ooh. Somebody died here. I Maybe just like a scavenger. There's a light on. There's a gas station right here. Oh. I thought this was an overpass seeing out of the corner of my eye. 
Well, there could be some good stuff here. Number one on the list is adhesives, because you know what? Back home at Omni, I have absolutely... No, I have one duct tape. I bought it. That's it. That's, that's nothing. This place has been pretty looted. I'll take over to books. Rivers of a Bachelor. <laughs> Sounds like my life. Bobby Pin. But mine would be called Crying Rivers of a Bachelor. 556. Five, Out of the way. Dog meat and Ada. Man. Okay, so use oil can. There was a fan there. 50 calibers. I don't often see that. Hi. Uh. Blue paint can. I actually used some of that on... Oh, was it one of the armors I was putting together? Hey, watch out. Mr. Handy Fuel. Could use that. What's this? Rat poison. Shotgun shells. Bag of cement. Officer's fan. Scissors. And I'm carrying too much. That's Guess up. what, dog meat? You get to carry more. That's why I made that outfit for you. Racks of cleaner... See, oh no, I have two duct tape. That's all I have for adhesives. That's like practically nothing. Just things I've picked up on the way down here. Alright, is there anything else? What about, there's a, a weapon that I also picked up. That rifle. Okay. Good enough for now. Dandy boy apples. Weapon workbench. 38 Simpack. Oh, there's like not much here. Wow. This is the nicest toilet I have seen since coming out of Vault 111. <laughs> Tend to notice these things when you're lacking them. Uh, I was just I had to scrap some toilets in the, the sunshine with some ten millimeters in there. That co-op farm place we just uh, I set up because they were broken toilets, and obviously they're not. Whatever you put in there is just going to sit right inside the bowl. So <laughs> what is the point of it? Better just use a bucket and just throw it away. I thought that was a cat. No, it's a chicken. Chickens are everywhere. Cats, not so much. In fact, the only cat I know is the one at Abernathy Farm. There's a container down here. Oh, so it looks like somebody drank themselves to death. Whiskey. Do what you gotta. I sure do. Let's see. Yeah, it's just glass. I don't need that. Potato crisps. Nice. They drank themselves. I uh, can't say they drank themselves to death, but they hey, drank all the bottles. Possibly. Somebody's house. Ten millimeter metal bucket. Yeah, it's probably all collapsed inside. Automatic fire. Sounds like a turret going off. How close are we? We're getting into the the South Boston area now. Past the overpass, there's going to be a lot of buildings. Oh, another one of those signs. Does that mean there's something here? Oh, that old key I had, the wicked shipping key opened up. Open it up. Bottle cap mine. Stealth boy, two stealth boys. Two millimeter, five of them. Uh, 50 caliber, 308, 44, 45. More money. That is old as it looks. That's a good question. I guess I don't know. All right, here we are, and back in the city. You can see the people are fighting up ahead. Well, there's lots of activity going on. It sounds like turrets going off. There's somebody right there. This is looks like raiders. Okay, let's get into it. Attack! 
think that's the raider. Oh, that's the raider, all right. I don't usually dress like that, though. And a bloody turret. There's somebody else over here. There's a bunch of them. Hey, who's this guy? He's just standing there. Hey, I'm not going to shoot somebody that's just standing there. Whoa, he's got a dog. Good going, dog me. Nice job. Hey, snap at my dog. Yeah. Hey, who is this guy? tough-looking dog. I bet he's handy in a fight. Absolutely. You're dressed way too clean. Cleaner than even I am. Are you with the Brotherhood or hey, the Institute? Fight. Somebody else is here. Oh. Uh, subway station, so... I'm not going oh, down there. Here. Where are they? Time to reel them in. You're still hey, alive? I got something. Over here. What? what you know there's an upstairs. Don't you die on me. Help us, people, one clip at a time. Damn raiders. Fancy hairbrush. Okay, well, I don't know who this, that guy is, but I'm not going to shoot at somebody. This rifle. Interesting. I'm not going to shoot at somebody that's not shooting at me. Yes. Let me know what I can carry. Dog. Tough dog armor? Well, he's already wearing it. A dog helmet? Uh, I don't want to put that on. Dog meat. Looks bloody awful. Two millimeter. Those are very, very you do rare. What you gotta. Actually, I do. Ecker sack. I don't think so. Some big bug. Coffee cup. This is actually something I was going through when I was working on the, the um, settlements. Coffee tin. No coffee in the tin. Five five six by my scanner. Power relay coil. So I'm not going down into the subway, but I will. Oh, there's another dog here. Are they coming up from down at the subway? That's a tough dog. Maybe the armor's helping. Oh, glad that's over with. That was weird. Going into the women's restroom. Cramped in my power armor. Mentats, I'll take those. Tote dog meat. Bobby pins. Let's get inside that building. I don't know what your deal is, man. Tough dog armor. Well, that goes up. Let's just see what's inside here, though. Stim pack, rad X, blood pack, bobby pin, stim pack. Working on my scrounging abilities to look around things and lift things up. Have to be more thorough in my searches. They have all the uh, workbenches you can possibly want here, and then some. As long as the generator is no fuel in it, though, or it's turned off. It's like a settlement. Raider settlement. Nothing here. Where were those guys that we shot? Are these cages for people? <laughs> here they are. 
shotgun Excellent. shells. 308. I'll just take this. Medium leather. Oh yeah, they they never have good equipment or guns. 38. What's in there? Whatever. Nothing. All right, let's go down. There's a, a middle building between the the men's and women's restroom. Obviously, this is where you pick up the bus from the train. You know, two millimeter, four of them. Very, very rare. Ten pre-war money. You don't find many of those anymore. Oh, safe. Bit of a tougher one than normal. Oh, nice. Maybe not. 38, 45, 10 millimeter round. Pre war money. I'll take a fancy hairbrush that has it silver in it. Papa. Watch out, dog meat. Dog meat. Plasma cartridge, pre war money, and a terminal, a working terminal. Alright, I gotta get it. Exit my power armor. Curious to know what's on here. Probably nothing. Turret control. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> so, let's, uh. More rat chunk. Something to chew on. Uh, let's go with pork and beans. Very filling. And some purified water. It's getting late. Late in the day. Alright, we've got to get to that building. I always get sidetracked by whatever. Let's go get some bag. Scavenging something. Really? Exploring something. There's a wall there, that's a little odd. There is a searchlight going on over there. I was gonna say this wall doesn't that doesn't look right. It, doesn't look like raiders erected it. Oh, bitch. Looks like the military might have. Maybe they're trying to cordon off the streets for some reason. Direct traffic, certainly. Too bent to open. Okay, well, wherever it is, it is close by. This looks like an industrial area. Industrial area. This failure is new to me. You want to talk? Sure. Go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that <laughs> makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. 
So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. Oh yeah? What kind of doubts? You kidding me? You look like you'd fallen out of the vault that day. I thought I'd see you picking your teeth out of the gutter by sunup. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened at Diamond City. Before Madonna took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it, you got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. Hmm. Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. He just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. He never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> What do you mean you didn't recognize him? I don't know. Just didn't seem like the guy I grew up with. When I'd first heard the rumors he'd been swapped for a synth, thinking back on that night, I thought it made a lot of sense. But now, I don't know. I don't think I buy it. I've seen him since then, and there's no way they copied him that perfectly. Even got his tight-ass walk. But at the time, I just needed to get the hell away from him. Him and that whole damn city. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent cams, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there. But most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were, who couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. Hmm. I feel exactly the same, Hancock. It's been a hell of a ride thus far. Then here's to a long road, with plenty of ammo. Well, thanks for hearing me out. You probably weren't looking for a history lesson, were you? You wanna hit the road? I'm impressing these guys, and I'm not even really trying. I found something here, huh? 10 millimeter right rat away. Curious to know why that spotlight is there, but oh, there's a police department right there. Well, we're right here. Shit, just go in there. Police department's right here. This building? This looks like a house. Maybe it's this building? It's this building. So, you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. <laughs> Drugs of choice? The city's in. Well, it's in real ruins. How do you get in here? Right here. Police. 
I'm not actually expecting there to be much in here, but you never know. Oh, target, target practice. Yeah, I don't know who's in here. Lights are on. That's the thing, though, with fusion power. Microfusion cells can last a long time. Alarm That's clock, desk. Looks. Not a clue. This terminal. Maybe this will tell me where it is. I'm looking for the uh, tape. That would make it the second one that I have. It's supposed to be. We're supposed to get ten. Really, I, I don't know how long the code is, but if it's just like five numbers, I shouldn't have to. But then again, you don't know where those numbers are. I hear the radio playing. Classic songs, okay. Through. Remote door control. Open the door. How'd you learn to do that? Easy. Got a real way with machines. Fragmentation grenade, right away. Ceramic bowl, I guess I could use it. You got it. I sure do. Uh, plate. Uh, whiskey. Full bottle. I need that. Police evidence terminal. Conley Grand Theft Auto Logs. Here it goes. Uh, winter Holotape Logs. Uh, Holotape 3, on loan, Quincy Police, Officer Hart, Point of Contact, Requisition, Holotape 5, Requisition. Okay, so let's talk about all the Holotapes. This is basically showing me where to go for the other Holotapes. I don't see anything else, but I'm hoping that there is a Holotape here, so we're going to have to search. Take this phone. truck. Five, five, six rounds. daddy -o. Gas canister. Use the, uh, the fuel and the aluminum. Oh. 308, 44... You know what? I want to take one of these hats and see what I can do with this back home. There are faster ways to cripple yourself than trying to lug all that. Hey. Ah, seems like I'm not carrying that many, that much lately. How much extra, I should say. I'm carrying quite a lot, I know. Oh, that's what I forgot to look at. Back to Sanctuary is overdue books. Well, up whoa, whoa! The ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Really should be using a shotgun. So for Chippewa Life. Hell yeah. Oh. This must have been the master. Raider, 38 rounds, 5 Bingo. millimeter. Tin can. Tin can. Watch out, watch out. Dog me. Shotgun shell. Desk found. Oh, could unleash this thing. Be no point though. Right, there's nothing here. Watch out! Everybody seems so short when I'm in power armor. Ah, uh, here it goes. Because all up. Bobby pin box. Let you guys take care of that. Handcuffs. Rat poison coffee cup. 
There's nothing in this building. Is there another floor? Oh, I didn't go in the office. In fact, that's where I think it would be. This is a very small police station, is it? There, there we go. Eddie Winter Hall of Tape. Buster Conley. Oops. Nice piece you did on the monorail construction project. Heaven's Highway? Devil's Doing? Huh, cute. But I think you give organized crime too much credit. The various Boston families coming together to fund a public works project? Huh, Got it. Got it. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. Hey. They'll never Got find it. her. Because there's nothing left. <laughs> what a nice guy. Uh, I don't remember uh, him saying a number. I didn't hear him say a number. He, he must have. It was seven? Message to Buster Conley. Nice piece you did on the monorail construction project. Heaven's Highway? Devil's Doing? Huh, cute. But I think you give organized crime too much credit. The various Boston families coming together to fund a public works project? Clearly you never sat down at dinner with these guys. They can barely agree on an appetizer. And ain't nobody jumping to pick up the check. The bosses have their hands in the pot, sure. But nowhere near the level you were suggesting. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. They'll never find her. Because there's nothing left. After he bashed her brains in with one of those giant wrenches, Vinny the Crackers Venucci dissolved her body in a barrel of hydrochloric acid. Jesus Christ. So write your follow-up. Then feel free to tell the cops the murder weapon is hanging on the wall in Venucci's garage. On 4 Charter Street. 4. Eddie Winter, signing off. What a piece of shit this guy is. If he's still alive, like, I'd, I'd be glad. I'd be happy to put a bullet in him myself. But, I'm going to leave it to Nick. He told me what happened. Where, uh, Eddie Winter killed the, uh, well, where he got the memories from, it wasn't actually him. He's a synth. But, it must have torn up the real Nick Valentine. What, uh, Eddie Winter did to his girlfriend. So, I'm going to let Nick take care of him. It's hard to believe that he's still alive as a ghoul somewhere. What the hell? All right. It's this way. I still don't know. Sweet. Where is the damn light? Oh, here they are. They're just on the outside of the uh, police department, so. Not harming anyone. What was that? What the hell was that? Almost like a. I kind of described like a spider, but not a spider, and it was big. Oh, it's a Meyer lurk. <laughs> oh, shotgun. Yes. Let's get on with it. Yes. Ah, stay away from me. Well, it's over. That's that. My lurk meat is actually pretty good. I've got a lot of food on me though. It's I can't keep picking up everything I come across. All right, it should be straight ahead. And those shotgun blasts I just did. We're gonna alert everybody that we're here. Whoa! These raiders. Looks like this building is fortified. Oh, let's keep... No, super mutants. I, I just didn't see any body parts. Let's just keep on going. Is this it? General Atomic Building. This is it. We found it. Ada? Seagulls are loud as hell. Okay, so... 
what did I write? Ada says she saw the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. I may be able to find something there to help us discover where the mechanist is. Yeah, so... Sure. If we'll find anything, but... Because the mechanist robots, we actually haven't run into them in a while. I think they wander all over the Commonwealth. Shit, they're firing on us already. Hey! Shoot at my dog! Let's get this show on the road. My pleasure. Kill! Whoa, it's down. Hey, hey, careful! Crap. Well, this is gonna be an interesting place. We're going to have to fight our way through here, but hopefully we'll find something. Something of value. Bring it on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.